Hello, friends. Welcome to Actual Play, Blades in the Dark, the Rusted Lock. Uh, I am very excited tonight. Um, uh, Jamie's pipes have broken. We are sorry. They are they are currently, uh, I, I'm not sure if they're currently canoeing through their, their apartment, but uh, they're, they're getting that underway. And Chris and I are going to uh, play some little vignettes, some little um, solo, solo games um, we're very excited about. Uh, anywho, all that getting ahead of myself. I'm Sean Nittner. I use he him pronouns. I'll be playing a variety of characters tonight, including uh, uh, Ankh, uh, the Grounder, and the GM. Um, and I can't wait to see how these little, how these little session score, these little mini scores end up going. Um, uh, as always, uh, proceeds from the channel are split between Black Lives Matter and the Trans Legal Defense and Education Fund. If you give us money, that's where it goes. So maybe that's a good thing you could do if you'd like with the cheers and the subs and the whatevers. Uh, how about you, Kristen? Hi, I'm Kristen. I usually hear pronouns. Uh, I'll also be playing, I guess, a variety of characters tonight, which is exciting. So I'll play Penance and I'll play someone possibly related to Ankh. We'll get there and uh, also maybe a GM a little bit. So I'm so excited that we're doing this. I'm We miss Jammy. I'm sad they're not here, but happy to have the opportunity to have these little scores. So yeah. Yes, 100%. And also, uh, it, this just always makes me happy when uh, I, we get to show off how versatile Blaze in the Dark is because we're like, someone can't make it. That's fine. You know, uh, like another player can jump in and play or we can play with fewer characters. But also you can be like, the GM can't make it. That's fine. We'll play. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> we'll play anyway. Uh, and uh, so that, that's, that's what we're doing tonight. So without further ado, let's open up the first score. Uh, or not score, the first vignette of Penance and Grounder. My, my, my little slide there. So um, fancy. Very fancy. Extremely <laughs> fancy. Well, you have to know. I want people to be able to say. I might even make chapters for this for this uh, this one on YouTube. Where oh. you go. I never do yeah. that, but it, it it stands for reason that we could do it here. So, bit bit of backstory. We're gonna go on a job to steal a hull. That last score, one that Penance made the designs for, mm -hmm. and it was gonna be Ankh and Penance, and Ankh didn't show up. Yeah. Do you think, what do you think, Kristen? Do you think like you just decided she didn't show or can I have her scrape together at least a small amount of decency that like she sent you a note, like one of the stepsisters is like, oh yeah, Ankh said yeah. she can't make it. So, so at least yeah. you're not just like waiting and waiting and waiting. You know? Right, right. I think we, in our, uh, in our off time, in our chat, I think we talked about how Penance would have been um, doing like surveillance Right. Yeah. And trying to see like the best entrance to the place where we think the hall is and came back one night to update Ankh. Ankh isn't there. Penance doesn't really think much of it. Goes back out, comes back, you know, hours, days later and Ankh still isn't there. And so I know I like the idea that Penance left Ankh a note. Yeah. But I don't know that Ankh saw the note because they're probably already to have been disappeared. So we'll see if that note ever comes back. But right. Now, at the bottom of the note, Penance did write, I'm counting on your help. Oh, love it. There was like, she like wrote out the plans, hesitation. I'm counting on your help. <laughs> yeah. So good. So good. So good. Okay. So where do you want ground? Where do you want uh, Grounder to enter the score? Do you want to do it as like part of the uh, just, just before? As like as we're as 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 we would say be rolling the engagement roll, or do you want to do it? I think I think we said like you kind of wanted it to be at like the last minute, right? Before yeah, we went on. I like right. I like the idea that there's this there's still this thought that like in the back of Pence's mind of like, well, Ankh will be here wherever here is, right? When we pick up, yep. um, but then it turns out to be Grounder instead of Ankh, and I don't I don't know how Penance is going to feel about that yet. <laughs> I think I wrote this up, but like my brain is like a sieve. So I can't even remember what I said or which of our many channels I put this in uh, because, uh, because, um, oh, there we go. I finally found it in scores. Okay. We have so, we, we love our Discord channel, our Discord server so much. We do so true. all this yeah. play by play stuff there. Um, yeah. So I think if, if it sounds right to you that, that Penance would ultimately be starting the score from the uh, 
you know, starting from the lair, mm -hmm. uh, which is hidden now, right? Like not, not yeah. everyone knows where it is. Yeah. Um, I think she hears some, um, you know, heavy, heavy footsteps, heavy, heavy, um, uh, you know, noises of somebody, somebody coming along mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, may for a moment thinks that it's, thinks that it's, uh, Ankh finally showing up at the very, very, the 11th hour. And instead it's this guy. Let me see if I can boom him up. Yeah, oh, I haven't didn't, seen this yet. Didn't, didn't quite get it, get it as big as I, as I wanted to, but it's this guy. Um, oh, he has very cool grounders. He, him, correct? Yes. Grounders, you see him pronouns. Very cool uh, eyes. Yes. He has golden eyes. They are clearly unnaturally golden eyes. Um, uh, you're, you're welcome and encouraged to ask about them. Um, and, uh, he shows up and he's got like a harness on and it's got all this like random shit hanging off of it. He's got a lightning hook, a big old honking, like lightning hook kind of strapped on his back and uh, a little battery, uh, a little, a little tiny electroplasmic generator, um, mm -hmm. that that's thrumming along on his side and all of these, like a bandolier with all these sort of like bobbles hanging. And uh, most of them are padded, so they don't clank together too much. But but um, they're they're certainly he certainly sort of have a, has a bulky presence, and uh, he lifts his chin and, and says, uh, 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 e uh, "Evening, let's say it's evening." Yeah, he says, uh, uh, "Sophia, Sophia told me where to find you. And she said you might need a hand as well. That you were going on a two person job and." Didn't have a second person. Okay, so before Penance responds, did yeah. Ankh leave Penance a note, or has Penance found any sort of, or had any sort of communication about Ankh being here or not being here? Yeah, I think I think it's I think the sisters are the one who I well, we can communicate through the ground. We can oh, communicate we can? found by darkness. So I'm just going to spend a stress from Ankh and I'm just going to share with you this image of Ankh in the Aruvian uh, consulate, um, like hiding inside a closet, overhearing a conversation of all of these like politicians and listening to her aunt like chirp in her ear at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that's Ankh's way of telling you like, nope, like Busy. I'm in other business. I mean, like, I, like it literally, like the perception that you get, like the feelings you get, because they all come through the vibration. Is like you hear yeah. this, like incessant, you know, you, we mu you must do this for the for the Ankayat family, and like and like ministers talking about something, but it's all it's all um, muffled, right? You can't make out what they're talking, right, about. right. Uh, but it's clearly the like she is she is indisposed. I and, and I think, yeah, I, I, does Ankh say, I'm sorry? Does she like communicate, I'm sorry? I don't, I don't know. I think she just shares with you her senses and kind Ooh, of lets you. I have an idea for this because if you can decide if Ankh was actually going to say, I'm sorry, or if, if she was thinking that same thing, do I say, I'm sorry? I really like the idea that as soon as Penance understands that Ankh isn't coming, uh -huh. She does the equivalent of hanging up. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Fine. So we don't know, or a penance doesn't know if Ankh was going to uh, apologize or it. not. Thank you. Because... Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we'll say that message like just came in. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah. So penance will address grounder. Um, it's and possible. it's very clear from his guard that he's a real jack. Like, like no okay. bones about it. He, he looks every part the same kind of utility wear that Sophia and um, and other real jacks have, have worn. Okay. Okay. And did he mention, sorry, we, I sidetracked us with the Ankh and Penance thing. Did he mention that Sophia sent him? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> that's, how, um, that's how we found where you were. You know, Sophia, gotcha. Sophia told him. I didn't know if he had actually mentioned that. Okay. So I think that having got that message, I think from Ankh, I think penance is a little bit flustered, um, but is also coming to terms with the fact that she does probably need help. So um, um, 
it's po yes, it's possible that I might need some help. Who who are you? He kind of, I think he puts his hands on his hips, kind of like settles into the space down in the grotto and looks around. He's like, I was one of the guys that helped um, helped install your your uh, your 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 lightning barrier over there. And he kind of like sits down on a rock or something like that and like pulls his boot off and like shakes, uh, like shakes a stone out of it and puts it back on. He says, I'm grounder. Uh, if a lightning bolt's going to hit, you don't have to get away from it. You just have to not be me. And he kind of like wrinkles, um, you know, like shakes it off. Like you like a shiver goes down his spine. Yeah. He says, uh, anyway, I think you're a bunch of good kids. He's clearly in his forties or fifties, you know, and yeah. it looks pretty scarred. And he says, I think you guys are good kids and uh, doing good stuff. You know, even though the, um, even the gondoliers might not like you as far as I, as far as I recall, there were messed up ghosts coming out of this grotto well before you set up shop in here. And uh, I, I don't think you're, I don't think you're, you're part of the problem. Anyway, you've done good by the rail jacks. So we figured we'd, I figured I'd give you a hand. Uh, I heard your, heard your hull wrangling. Done that a time or two. I've I've moved a few holes on on uh, on on the rail. You have big ones, big old, you know, industrial ones, uh, size of a size of a carriage. Yeah, I mean, I just I don't want to claim anything fancy. Just 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 uh, just just hanging off the side of the. Uh, of the rail, make sure no no other rogue spirits made their way in. But I've seen them. What what kind are we going after? Some big some big carriage, some little spider creature, some uh, some house on on legs, some uh, what what is it? A uh, flying bird with the. <laughs> he just has all these ideas. Most of them made up. Like he doesn't oh, actually has actually right. seen more than one or two. But like. I think Penance knows that. Penance is like, some of these don't even exist. I'm not sure he knows what he's talking about. Um, yeah, I think Penance shares like a little bit, like it's human, it's human sized hull this time. Nothing, mm. nothing as big as a house, nothing mm. flying, unless uh, they've made adjustments I'm not aware of. But no, last time I checked, it doesn't fly. So, uh, so you want to disable this thing and make off with it? Yes. Yeah. Other than transportation, how else do you think you can assist? You good at fighting? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not too bad. And um, I think you can see he has his hands wrapped like like a boxer would. Okay. Um, and he's like, uh, on the on the rail, I um, um, the role I take is grappler. So so when a ghost comes around and we got to wrangle them uh i'm your ghost wrangler uh i got a few got a few spirit traps figure we could probably uh trap them in a makeshift uh, electroplasmic field or something like that disable them and uh you know if they're human size i mean we might be able to just throw them in a carriage or something like that we don't even have to get any big lifting equipment that's great i was i was expecting we'd need a whole conveyance whole boat but yeah i figure we uh just over overcharge them electrostatically, fry them. I think which penance probably know is totally gonna damage the hull. Absolutely. Yeah. Grounders approach is like, let's just fry all the circuitry, yeah. right? You can fix all that later. Yeah. I think and, uh, I, you know. I think Pence actually interrupts them and is like, I'll I'll take care of shutting down the hull when okay. we get to that point. Right. Well, I can maybe just keep them in one place for you. That would be very helpful. And I already have a carriage. Oh great. Yeah. Well, hey, you got everything planned. Who even needs an old rail jack? Kind of like stretches and you can, you can tell he's got like a kink in his back and he's like, Argh! tries to stretch it out. He's like, but, uh, but if this is helpful, I do, uh, you know, pick it. She rides, she rolls with uh, Bajo, mm -hmm. uh, one of the lamp blacks in uh, crow's foot. Uh, I heard you're going into crow's foot. I heard the, about the building you needed uh, yeah. information about, uh, it's an old warehouse and, uh, Asked Pickett, and she told me uh, where we could find some, where we could find some blueprints or some, I don't know, I wouldn't quite call them blueprints. Maybe uh, somebody's sketch of what they think the building's like. That's probably pretty accurate. 
that's that's uh we're not talking about ministry stuff ministry great stuff here but anyway i was hoping i could help and he hands over some some notes that that have been sort of looks like they've been pieced together there's like one yeah. ministry technically blue coat uh rail jacks are like workers for the ministry technically mm-hmm. like they're not officers they don't have any high role but like it looks like he may maybe uh scrap something together little bits from the ministry something from a drawing that a uh um that that uh, a, a friend of Pickett's may has made, um, and that was my plus one D to your survey. Well, awesome, yeah. I think that Penance is pleased um, because she spent a lot of time tracking the comings and goings of the people that are there, the archbenders that are there guarding the hall, mm-hmm. um, and also how often the hull does actually leave if, you know, it's very rare, but um, she wanted to ensure that. So I think that was mainly her surveillance as well as the best way to get in. But once we were in, I think that's where Penance was going to lean a little more on Ankh, Mm -hmm. you know, to take lead. Because usually when we get into a score, Ankh tends to take lead and Penance is more than happy to to support. (laughs) Uh, And so I think Penance was kind of, counting an onk for that um and so having these blueprints is going to be or you know these sketches is going to be very helpful um do you think that when i look at the blueprints i have an idea of where they're going to keep the hull yeah i think there is um i think that there's and and hopefully jamie is going to be cool with this um (laughs) we can always adjust things just saying things. Yeah. I feel like there's, uh, I think in this warehouse, there is a, um, um, there is like big loading doors that I think it's on the, I think it's on the waterfront. I think there's big loading doors, um, on one side of it and like a carriage barn, um, on the other that are very, uh, sorry, on, like opposite sides, but on the same end, maybe mm-hmm. that are very like high traffic. And then, what the sketch is, is basically some, um, uh, offices. And I think there's a place where it looks like there's a vault, like a secured, uh, area. And, and yeah. they're, they're thinking if they have anything really valuable to start, to start, it'll be in the vault, which is like behind the manager's office. This is me as Sean really, really wanting you to use saboteur. So instead of us having to like cut through all of the interior defenses, you just cut a hole in the wall or something like that. Or yeah. Drop it the ceiling. yeah. Um, that's the plan. I, I actually think that, and we'll see how the, how, when we get there, how the role goes, but I actually think that Penance probably had uh, a plan to break in possibly using either a minor explosive or some sort of acid mm-hmm. to get in. And now that Ankh isn't there, I think that they'll, there's, there might be some more recklessness here. She, nice. she might be a little more like, yeah. let's just go. <laughs> how much do you think this thing weighs? This hole. Uh, couple hundred pounds. Hmm. Any think you, any chance you think you can get the control module so you can command it? That would be ideal. Yes. Well, if you can, and if it's you know ambulatory, our best bet out of their place, I swear, our best bet out of that place is going to be on rooftop, not carriage. Roads are very well pinned down by all the crews. If you don't run into a blue coat, you're going to run into a red sash or a grinder or a bullhawk or a lamp black, and they're going to want to know what you're doing in a hurry, and they're not going to make it easy to get out of crow's foot. Even if, assuming we get away from, what's this crew we're going after? Arcbenders. The Arcbenders, yeah. Yeah. It's a good name. Even it's if we get name. away from the Arcbenders, uh, it's going to be a, it's getting out of crow's foot with contraband is going to be hard, but the rooftops are all connected. They're, those kids, they run boards and 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 lines and all sorts of uh, connections between them. So if we can move, that's what I recommend. And this is me, Sean, advocating for this because I took the ability goat footed, which is just basically a rail jacks like hanging off the side of a rail car, and like it it makes. Um, it makes real, it makes a really good at doing prowl maneuvers that are about balance and running, but that aren't about stealth. So if nice. we have to do a group prowl to get out, 
yeah. I'm good at doing like run along rooftops stop, stop, tops, types of things. So that's awesome. That's, that's now, why I'm advocating for it because also it's true. Yeah. Right? There's lots of there's lots of rooftop connections, and I think right cases are fun. Yeah, rooftops are yeah very cool. Yeah, now I'm thinking maybe maybe the carriage is either Plan B, which we know these scores tend to go to at least Plan B. Yeah, at least. <laughs> um, or it can be a distraction. Oh yeah, we could have the sisters yeah. in there, and they could yes. peel out and hand up <laughs> into that. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Hang a carrot in front of those uh, goats and get going. And I think if it's okay with you, I think either Violet, they're always together. So I think Violet and Orchid are maybe somewhere in the background. And Grounder sort of looks at them and looks at you curiously. And he's like, those two look familiar. In the sort of way, like all Dimmer sisters kind of look the same. Right, right. Um, yeah, I think Penance just introduced to them. Oh, yes, this is Violet and Orchid. I feel like they would nod in unison. Oh, totally. Right? Yeah. Like that, like, nice, but like in unison. Yeah. They're so creepy. Yeah. I love that. They're creepy. I think one of them would say, like, it's a pleasure to, and the other one would say, meet you. And... <gasps> yes. <laughs> Jamie would be proud. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Grounder kind of, like, he tries to maintain a shudder. And he's like, and then he kind of goes, well, Dimmer Sisters helped me out when I had a possession gone bad once before. So I guess I can't hold too much against them. And he points to his eyes. Um, I think Penance is very interested in hearing about the possession. Um, And so I think she asks him about it. Um, How did they, how did they assist you? What possessed you? Well, out on the rail, you get weird things. They're not all human ghosts. Some of them are, well, I don't even know what they are. You know, they're ghosts of things that should have never been. Monsters and cretins and stuff like that. So who knows what it was? But something got inside me and it whispered all these sweet words and promises of fame and fortune and success. And it just kind of carved itself a little space inside me and just sort of settled right in. Nice and cozy, like slip right past my normal. You know, normally railjacks are pretty used to, uh, pretty used to uh, possessors and uh, yeah. specters, poltergeists. It's all sorts of specters. Uh, in fact, half the uh, half of the the jacks have a have a silver lung to keep to to keep just those out. But uh, I was young and dumb and didn't realize, and it just started started changing me, making me more like it was, and. Uh, didn't really catch on. Thankfully, my friends noticed when my eyes turned gold that something wasn't right. Anyway, sisters got it out. I don't really know what they did. It was weird. There was a big cold slab. I had to lay on it naked. I tried not to pay too much attention. It felt strange. And whatever it was that it was inside me, they decided to keep, which I didn't oh. exactly like. But who knows what they do with weird, strange ghosts or whatever that thing was. When you were on the slab, did someone attempt to stab you? Well, I mean, stab. They had knives. Uh, mm. I, I They were more of the scalpel variety than of the... Stabbing. Stabbing variety. But, I mean, now that you mention it, there was some blood on it. I think maybe some things have been stabbed on that slab. Very possible. Mm. Interesting. They blindfolded me the whole way. I didn't. They walked me down some steps, walked me through their place, down some steps, and then didn't didn't really let me uh, didn't really let me uh, see again until the whole thing was done. So, but it was a little sticky. Make, Maybe makes sense. The Dimmer sisters anyway, are very private. Yeah, very private. But they got whatever it was out of me. I had migraines for a month afterward, but uh, and that left me with these eyes. Do you know why? why? Why it left you with gold eyes? Well, I mean, once a ghost does its damage to you, there's no undoing it, you know. It just uh, leaves you changed. Huh. Can I ask you one more question about the possession and then I'll stop prying? That's fine. It's all water under the bridge. Ooh, I think before... 
I, th I think before Penance says that, I think before Penance asks if she can ask one more question, she asks Violet and Orchid first to go get something. Oh yeah, sure. So that it's just grounder. Is is Athea is is Rose with her right now, or is Rose not present? Is Rose I mean, listening in on this conversation? I think. I don't think Penance always knows. Like I oh, think no. that I think that Penance has started to see the tells. You know, like she can kind of feel more clearly when Rose or Athea is there. Yeah. But I think. Penance also knows that she can't always tell. Mm. Um, right now, she does not think she's listening. She does nice. not think she's here. She doesn't feel her. We'll see what Jammy says or what comes up later. But I think that right now, Penance doesn't nice. think so. Well, and 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 Ankh has ghost minds. She always knows when supernatural creatures are around. Grounder one hundred percent does not. Grounder has no idea. Right. I, I'm bringing this. I'm throwing this out there for you to explore and play with. But Grounder. Does he doesn't know shit? He's just he's an old he's yeah. an old man telling more stories. I know, and he's I love it. An, he's happy to have an audience that cares. That's interesting. yeah, and I and I love that he doesn't have um, like he's not telling it dramatically. He's like, oh yeah, one time I was possessed, just like he talks about how having a sandwich yesterday. Not exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he doesn't even say it like it's the only time he's possessed. It was just a possession <laughs> gone bad. You know, it's That's like right. yeah, it happens, right? Right? Like it's just. I mean. You, 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 you hang out on the outside of a train flying through the Deathlands, and what do you expect is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Come on. Yeah. Um, so I think once they leave Penance, you know, and Grounder have that brief conversation about asking another question. And he's already sort of like starting to make himself a little bit at home. Like he's like, got, he's okay. like on your Bunsen burner making some, making some water for tea. And he's just sort of like starting to like pulls out like a little bag. He's got some like hard cheese in it. Just kind of. Getting used to some creature comfort. It's not settling in too much, but you know, he offers yeah. you some like he offers you some like uh, goat cheese and, uh, uh, and 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 crackers and you know nice things, things that he just kind of carries around. Yeah. Oh, I like the idea that they're having this conversation over like tea and and snacks. Yeah. Um. So I think so. I think Penance asks. Um, did you, when you were possessed, did you talk with the ghost? Were you friendly with it? On this occasion, yeah. I didn't even realize it was there at first. Like, I knew something hit me. I got hit by some big whammy. And I woke up, and the spirit wardens checked me out, and they said I was fine. Which is a, which is an oddity. Usually, hmm. usually they can spot these things. Most of the time you get possessed... It's not pleasant. You're inside Bellwether Crematorium. It's different color stone slabs, but it's stone slabs just the same. And they're wielding all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, uh, they're, 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 they've got all kinds of strange machines and, and apparatuses and tests and lots of probes. Lots of probes from the Spirit Wardens get, uh, oh. get involved. But, uh, and then it's, it's mostly just screaming matches most of the time. They're just yelling in your head, screaming and wailing. And finally you kind of uh, usually you just break and they take over. Uh, uh, but this one, yeah, Spirit Warden said I was fine and just noticed I kept having kind of the right insight, the right knowledge, the right time. It just felt like I just kind of, like something was whispering in my ear, just just, just helping me out, just offering me aid. And uh, then I, like an idiot, just took, took it. But, you know, when you're young and dumb, you do young, dumb things. And then when you're old and dumb, you do old dumb things. And you like drink some. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, I don't think Penance asks anything else. I, yeah, I think she's. Did that give you the answer you were you were hoping for? Yeah, I think Penance wanted reassurance, mm -hmm. like like maybe this ghost. Um, wasn't nice to grounder the way Rose is nice to penance. And so mm -hmm. obviously, you know, your ghost may have treated you that way. My ghost doesn't treat me yes, that way right. type of situation. Yeah. I'm going to posit that the way grounder describes his ghost sounds, if not identical, a lot like Athea. Yeah. Which is why penance asks no more questions. Nice. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so he he's got some fun things uh, because the because the uh, rail track playbook is so much fun. He's got uh, he probably will not take these things with him, but you know he's got like a survival suit for going out in the Deathlands, magnetic boots for locking on to the locking onto the rail car, all these safety nice. lines and harnesses and clamps and things like that, a big old lightning hook. And then what he's planning to use is these Ooh. two spirit traps. And I imagine that they are like um, a, a little, like, like, like three little lanterns that you set up in one place and it creates a little electroplasmic field and they'll trap a hole or a ghost or a vampire or anything, you know, cool. like that in, in its place. That's what he's envisioning. And then you've got to get in there and deactivate it or do whatever. Um, right. Um, and uh but at least it'll keep it in place so um awesome uh cool i love it should we call that the uh yeah all right well thank you friends that was penance and grounder meeting before their score which we'll do next week uh should we do penance in the arc banner so we flash back to a young penance sure let's flash back all right